Hi everyone, welcome to Kanyeri Grows. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So it's been a while, I haven't uh, posted anything, but uh, here I am with the June's update, how the garden is looking. So this is how the garden looks at the moment. I'm gonna take you step by step and uh, yeah, talk to you about each and every plant and how far we've come, what I've been doing in the garden. So now it's June here in UK. It's actually June the 22nd. And this is just an update of how my garden looks. So guys, sit back and relax. So we are going to start just right over here. Okay, so over here, I've got some um, garlic. If you remember guys, uh, maybe it's been nearly two months now. We did the garlic uh, transplanting together and I showed you how I started indoors as well with the garlic because I, I started from the gar a garlic bulb, divided them into cloves and then just put them in uh, water and after a while, after rooting, I brought them out and I've got garlics uh, just spread out all over the garden. So that's how I began. As you can see, I've been cutting them quite a lot. I've cut this garlic quite a lot. I love adding them to my salads, even to my cooking, franks and eggs. So there's a lot of things to do with garlic um, uh, uh, greens, these garlic greens. Yeah, you can use them in place of the bunching or spring onions. So next to the garlics, we got the lemon balm. As you can see, the lemon balm is growing very, very beautifully. And... Uh, Guys, I've really, really cut this lemon balm so many times. Like I've uh, pinched off the tops. That's how I harvest my lemon balm. I use it in teas. I use it even in marinating the chicken. It's so, so beautiful. And uh, behind the, the, in between there is like a big, um, a big trough that has different kind of herbs. So I have the lemon balm i also have the oregano growing just beside it they're growing uh, intercropped together so that's the lemon balm and it's uh sorry the oregano and it's just spread out in between and also i have the tarragon as you can see i have the tarragon uh, i've been pinching off tarragon tarragon doesn't uh, grow as quick as um, the lemon balm and the oregano so tarragon is there and i love i love tarragon so i used to have uh, thyme growing here as well since last year but uh, it died off uh, during the winter but these other herbs they just overwintered i think they're hardy the lemon balm the oregano the tarragon and they're still growing this is their second year and then here we have uh, some parsley. I've done a video on how I was transplanting this parsley. I actually transplanted it, them individually. And the guys, look at them. I've pinched them like several times. I can't even count, you know. And here they are, they're looking beautiful. I have another pot as well, because I had uh, planted only two pots of uh, parsley. And this parsley, oh, it smells gorgeous, guys smells gorgeous and also it's growing beautifully and the more you cut it oh my god this the more you cut it the more it grows that's what i've realized this is one of those you just cut and come again at at its best very it grows very quickly so and uh, right here guys i have my uh these these are collards yeah i have my collards but these collards uh, they don't look they look like they've been stressed out a little bit they're having a bit of stunted growth and the leaves also not growing uh, big as big as as they used to you can see and uh, i've tried to put some neem oil with the washing soap on it just to clear off some aphids that I had seen i think aphids are the one causing this uh, stunted growth but otherwise it's still looking good i've had one harvest from uh, from them but then i haven't harvested again because the leaves won't grow any bigger uh, at the bottom here i did uh, throw in some uh, baby leaf spinach uh, they look okay but i'm not very optimistic about them uh, i'm not quite sure what's happening with this compost i may have to change the compost because i've realized the the this little spinach didn't grow under i have another batch which was have 
uh, which was just sold the same day with these ones uh, the other batch is doing very well uh, in fact it's just ready for harvest but these ones have been here for quite a long time they're turning a little bit yellow i think it's because they are also being covered by the this kale and uh, so they're not getting enough sunlight down there yeah i have a few garlics in there yeah so let's move on to oh let's move on to this guys so over here i've been growing these peas um i'll put the name of this uh, variety down below but they are the purple they give the purple the purple peas pod and oh god this is so so amazing guys it tastes delicious even without cooking i think this is best actually in um, added in stir fry or even best in salads i'll be honest yeah best in salads so what we normally do me and my daughter we just pick them off straight you know <laughs> into our belly because these ones when you're harvesting them you're just tempted to open open them so my daughter loves uh, to harvest this piece with me because um she can she knows she can just open them and have them straight from the plant so that's how it looks like guys and i'm, I'm also uh growing this this uh, snap piece as well this snap is in fact I'm, I'm so amazed at how fast they've grown and how wonderful they've grown because these ones i started them from an experiment all this you see green green peas around dotted around uh i started the the seed i started them from seed but i started them indoors i just uh, grew them in water like in a paper towel soaked in water for nearly a month and when they were they were like maybe 10 inches tall i brought them out and i put them in the soil and this is how much they've they've grown very beautifully but with these ones these ones i started them outside as soon as uh, you know we went past uh, the cold winter in december and january so i put them uh, put them in the soil in february outside but it was in a greenhouse it was in a greenhouse but straight into the soil i did not start them in paper towel but as you can see the result is uh, yeah is is the same really the result is the same they've both matured beautifully so if you can't start them in february in uh just before the spring begins you can start them indoors in a paper towel and uh take them out they will still germinate and be productive okay let's move on to the kales you can see i have a lot of kales and they are growing very big guys these kales have amazed me guys i'm really really sorry about the noise i don't know what's going on sounds like some um, work going on but i will try and uh, just carry on oh thank you it's maybe it's stopped now so as i was saying this is the kale plants which i have just um no, i actually sowed them in february as well i have a video when i've been transplanting my kales and you know the journey but the, here they are they're growing beautifully they're growing so big like and i've had i've had several harvest guys it's just that i haven't been recording each and everything i'm doing because i've also been busy you know with work and uh, just a lot of things right now but uh the plants are doing amazing guys i said i have to take this video now because if i don't then you won't know how it was in june how it was looking in june and this is the this is why you should uh try and sow your seeds early say in february or even some of them in january and uh, as you can see this is the raised garden that we planted the swiss chard then we had some um a baby spinach right at the end at the back there right at the back we have some spin uh, baby spinach that i have harvested several times and now they are going into both because it is getting pretty hot during the day and uh, we also have the swiss chard they're doing amazing guys look at them look at how green and colorful they are i just i just love guys i love it when the garden looks this green and in between you can see i have some uh, garlic growing in there we still have garlic because we intercropped here swiss chard baby spinach and uh, garlic 
and right at the front here you can see guys look we have all these beautiful colors from my calendula yeah you know guys i love calendula this is like the best flower i have for my raised garden and uh, the reason why i choose to have calendula uh, in my raised garden which i grow vegetable is basically that it, it's edible as well calendula is edible so you can eat the flowers the flowers are edible you can also eat uh, some people like uh, can dry the leaves and make tea and uh, with the flowers but i haven't done that yet i haven't uh, made tea with them i've just mixed them in uh, stir fry in salad and i've also just come and picked them and just eaten them you know straight from the garden yeah but you can make tea with them i don't know whether you have to dry them or just straight from the garden and uh, make a brew so this is my calendula they're growing right next to my vegetables and yeah guys i also have some i also have some this is interesting because i've been trying to grow these oh this has been a bit difficult this guys this is the basil the thai basil this is the thai basil you can see this plant i have a few of them there's another one right here and there's another one right here this one these thai basils i've been trying to grow them and wow it hasn't been easy but i love them i can't wait for for it to you know germinate and i can pick them because it hasn't been easy trying to grow it so that's that's for the raised garden guys that's how the raised garden is uh, looking and uh, right next to it in front there we have more kale these are perennial kale guys this is actually called the big leaf look at that guys look at that compared with my hand this can take three times of my hand or even four because it's it's massive it's, it's just massive these are big, called big leaves um big leaf uh, sorry big leaf jack big leaf jack because they normally have very huge huge leaf yeah it was starting to suffer from from uh it, i think it was too much water because we've been having rains for the couple of days uh, and each time i water then i think it's not gonna rain then it starts raining so i think maybe too much watering or um, the, uh, infestation of from aphids but i haven't haven't quite seen aphids oh well we do have we do have some aphids here going on yeah maybe that, those are aphids but yeah guys this is how the garden looks in that corner and now we are coming into this other side where I put up this other raised garden bed so inside the raised garden bed we have the kill this is more kill growing in there and I've covered it up guys just because you know the caterpillar love to lay eggs on the kill uh, I had this area covered as well as you can see there's a net up there I had these ones covered too but I've taken it off just so because we were having greens last night and sometimes the net can just uh, be, uh, you know the water can get too heavy on the net and I don't want it breaking the net so I normally pull the net down I pull the net down and I just cover the the plants with that net guys we have some uh, perennial kale you know if you've been watching and following my channel how much i love my kale and they're growing beautifully guys these are the ones from two years back they're um, nearly three years now and this is how far they've grown they are near, they are my yeah five five seven yeah nearly maybe five 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 foot five they're quite tall quite tall they're perennial so i've explained to you before perennials these are um, they can uh, last for many years and uh, sometimes i do get challenges with some they do get affected with aphids and uh, some of them uh, they get um, stunted growth and at times i will have to change the pot and give them bigger pot because they're becoming too tall and the pot is, is a bit too small for them 
so it is it is challenging growing them in a pot it's better when you just grow them in the ground but for now i'm just uh, gonna try and hold on and see how far they can go grow in the in the pot so they, they are growing beautifully they're growing beautifully and uh, i have had a lot a lot of harvest guys in fact i've had to harvest them because they, they was they grow so quick they're so ready like see how beautifully this kale look in there and i have uh, harvested them just a week ago and now they need another harvesting so sometimes i just harvest them and i uh, put them in the freezer for future use I harvest as much or maybe just give out to my friends and family and yeah because i do get a lot of uh, kale because i have a, uh, a lot of uh, kale plants growing i love kale and i love different variety even though they all look the same they are different variety kale i have some that are biennial and uh, some people can call them collards uh, because some people refer kale to the curly kale but I call this uh, kale because they're all in the same family, basically. So, and uh, here we have tomatoes. Look at these guys. The tomatoes are growing so beautifully. We have started these tomatoes as uh, seeds indoors. They've been indoors uh, since February to the last day of the frost, which was uh, May 20th. So I took them out on the may 22nd and now we are in june and see how far they, they they've been growing they've done beautifully most of them are uh, are flowering now and i've I used bamboo sticks to just give them a support because as they grow they need support so and i've also tried to join this i've, I've tried to join these uh, things together this uh, with, with with this string is jute jute string so i'm using jute string and i'm trying to hold these bamboo sticks in place so they can all be in one line because when the tomato starts growing they need to be directed and uh, they i don't want them swaying uh, outwards or backwards because they are hanging on to just to a bamboo stick so with this one it will guide guide the stems and they will be growing uniformly and uh, steadily so this is how they look i have more on this other side this is how the tomatoes look so i'm gonna be expecting some tomatoes very very soon and uh, over here we have some uh, uh, eggplant or aubergine so the eggplants and aubergines they're doing amazing one two of them are doing better than uh, the other two so you can see the leaves have become quite big soon we're gonna start seeing some flowers and i still have my uh, lemon tree which has uh, has experienced a bit of a slow growth. I think soon I will have to give it some um, nutrients, add some fertilizer. Yeah, but uh, it has had new leaf. Yeah, I can see several new leaves. Yeah, but uh, before this week, there was a slow growth, and I think the rains have helped a lot. And I can see a lot of new growth today. So, guys, this is the, remember the Vejega raised garden bed? And it's metal. It's been really, really good, really good, guys. You can see I've, I've even got tomato plants in there. I have those, uh, like, three tomato plants growing in there. And uh, they are growing together with the, with the kale plants. Those are going to be kale trees. So, I may have to... I don't know transplant them or just leave them there I'm sure it can take it can take the the weight so guys this is just how one part of the garden looks this is how 
my legs so for today i'm gonna be showing you just this because of uh I don't, uh, the video is already longer than i wanted it to be i uh, actually forgot to mention some coriander here i've harvested this several times and now they're just starting to grow back again after maybe two or three harvests this is the third time that they are regrowing so i'll leave it up to here guys and uh, this is the june update that's how the garden looks at the moment everything is green and uh, we the harvesting is going on and uh, i'm also putting down some more seeds for autumn harvest and i will uh, talk to you about uh, that in the next video so guys thank you so much for tuning in thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed uh, to this channel kindly do so and also turn on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we put out a new video guys thank you and uh, until next time bye bye